homosexuals and lesbians and saints and sinners, lend me your ears, for I am the Chaz Man. What you see before you is a Team Bye. A.K.A. Team Bollies. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we say. Basically, you need a tuning wrench, not a tuning key. The tuning key is for El Batier. Tuning wrench, you untune, 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 untune. All of the lugs. Take the lug out, put all the lugs in one little area, you don't want to lose them, sometimes you get a phone call, sometimes your girlfriend or your wife wants you to go take out some garbage, and then you got the lugs all over the place, or you got a dog, whatever. Keep the lugs in one place so you don't lose them. In some cases, it's better to have extra lugs, believe it or not. You'd be surprised how quick they can just disappear. Take off the beautiful LP rim. Now what you have is a used drum head. This has been used and abused like a two dollar hookup in Tijuana. Woo! Now basically this drum head is now concave. Okay? That, that's how you know it's used. Because it's been stretched and played on and beat on and beat on. So all the people can dance. And you have taken this drum head to its limit. And now this drum head is history. It's out of here. And now before my eyes is this. This is a Remo ambassador. Put it on. Obviously, you put the ramp on, okay, and now you know the rest. Lug. It goes head, rim, lug. With the tuning wrench, you're going to tighten up all of the lugs. So now, there you go. You got it like there? All right, here we go. You're going to take the tuning wrench, and what I like to go and do is two turns. Then you go to the other side. Turn the drum around two turns, dos, then you go like this, two turns, all right, hit the other one, two turns, come here, then, you know, as you're tightening the drum head, you know, the other ones obviously get are looser because, you know, you're tightening with the wrench, so check this out, bam, 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 thank you, ma'am, here we go again. Last one. Bam. Okay, now, at this point, what I like to do, you're gonna take the drumstick and lightly tap right on the edge of the rim closest to the lug. And you want each lug point to sound even. This is basically establishing the sound of the tuned drum head. It's the first step. It's important. Okay, there we go. A little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. So you hear that? starting point and now this is where oh man it's like a spiritual thing getting your sound listen 
Let me talk about the sound of the drum set. The sound of the timbales. The sound of the congas. Woo! Whatever you play, establishing your sound is individual. It's your personal taste. It's like your fingertips. No two fingertips are alike. Me, when I think about the sound that I need, for you, and you, and you, and your big mama too. I need you to not only feel me. I need you to hear me. Because now you got a band to think of. You got congas timbales. You got drums. Keyboard, bass player, and over there in front is the cocky guitar player with his half stack, two stack, ten stack, whatever. You need to make sure that this sound is going to cut through everybody. Because if not, it's like being in, in an ocean full of people. You ain't gonna be seen, you ain't gonna be heard, you just gonna drown in the sound. Let's try it again. Woo! I need a little bit more for the people. Cause when I give, I give everything. And now, I can tell you, I have achieved my sound. It feels good, and my spirit is telling me, it's time to get down. <clears throat> and get funky. I heard a little overtone. So now you just tune down just a little bit. Oh yes, man. Just a little bit. This is like a 1 16th of a turn. Now. You have learned how to tune El Timbale. Come get some.